Here, yeah, come off. Here, yeah, come off. That's oh, it. Now real. Off, now real. As soon as you get him off, you've got a real man. Oh my god. Hi, welcome back to Selfies Fishing. If you're new here, make sure you click the like button, subscribe, and the notification bell. Don't miss out on any new videos. Now, this video is all about fishing for big fish, so I really hope you enjoy it. I'll let the clips roll, and I'll chat to you in a bit. Wait, I don't know what this could be. This could be massive. Bait, this could be a total <laughs> bass or a big rain. Oh, something's hitting my rod as well. Charlie. Keeping it on his rod, mate. First one back and we can still gonna carry on. Is that yours? Read it, read it, read it. Bit closer. Bit closer, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Did I get him? Just, oh, I've got your walkie talkie. What? <laughs> <laughs> but you need to go. Look at his waterproof. <laughs> oh, oh, get him in the leg. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yes, yeah. you did. There you go. <laughs> there you go. What you got? What does it feel like? A bass. You think it's a bass? Yeah. Oh, the hook come out. It's really out. Oh, that's good. That's a good thing. We'll get a photo of it with him in a minute, right? Do you know how to hold one? Yeah, I'll find one to find out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not, not by the teeth. Alright, <laughs> something's on the bloody... What, on that one? Yeah, another conga. Look, that rod's going nuts. Yeah, should I grab it? Hang on, net this one, Char. Alright, try and net both. Can you hold that? Okay, this. Two congas. What? <laughs> That's mental. Oh, I've never. Well, careful, careful with it. Jai's in. No, no, mate. It'll up, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, Big, it is. yeah, nice little bream. Oh, no. oh, Charlie, no! No, Charlie. Now the best baits for conga is fresh bait. We caught lots of fresh mackerel, and we kept some live, and we was live baiting and catching them on that catch them on dead baits. Now they do take squid, they do take mackerel, as you saw the flappers, and they do love pouting. So that's the bait that you wanna catch. When you're fishing over a wreck, if you put down some baited feathers, you will catch the pouting. Chop them up and use them as bait. That is what I would suggest. All right, that's the bait going down. Look at that. Four hooks. This is much bigger. Yeah. I reckon this is a big conga. Yeah, oh. Oh my god. Yeah. How oh, big? So this is fishing on a little lure rod. So apply some pressure and slowly pull him off. I reckon it's a ray. Slowly. Yeah. Here come off, here come off. That's oh, it, now real. Now real. As soon as you get him off, you got a real man. Oh my god. Ben. Yeah. What about Sure. Look at this, That's Jai. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Just. Oh. 
fluffer No, fluffer it, fluffer it. Well, cut that in half, Jai. Cut that in half and put that down. But like long ways, yeah, like that. Oh my God. <laughs> Come on, Jai, we can get this up. Keep applying the pressure, that's it. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> This feel bigger than them cars. Yeah, just a bit. <laughs> just keep going. Last let Charlie do. <laughs> Die, look at this bend in this. <laughs> it's proper bullying us, mate. Get the own time by the time you land him. Sit, just take your time, innit? He knows how to play a fifth. Conga. Oh. Oh, oh, it's a big one. Down, Bring him up slowly because we're on such thin line. We're on £10.9. Point it this way, Charles. £10.9. You've got it's £10. Gonna, pound mono. It's going to get a bit bloody. Go on. That's it. Bring him up slowly. £10.9, mono, mate. <laughs> Thing's a monster as yeah, well. Yeah, that's big. Bring it over. Look at that. Bring it over. <laughs> oh my f no, God, it no. don't fit. Over, bring it over. Johnny. Bring it over. It doesn't fit. <laughs> Bring it over! No. 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 no! 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 This is what happens on this 10 pound one. <laughs> that was 20 pounds! That was 20 pounds! Right, look at this. This is what we're catching on. See this? Big 4 0 hook on a running ledger. Oh, can't actually believe that. Charlie just got like the biggest conga I've ever seen. And it come off because we were using ten pound line. That's all we had. Ooh. Oh, what man. have you got on that? Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Yes, yeah, just quite hard to get out. That's all right, keep on on it. it. Just had a little hit. Right, let's put this down. So a couple of things. We only had lure rods with us. We had one boat rod and a few boat gear, a boat fishing gear. This is because we're going out lure fishing. Now, if you're going out to fish for congas. Congas can get massive. You want to have the correct gear. You want to have a nice big boat rod. You want to have a strong reel, strong line, 40 pound, 50 pound braid or mono of your choice. You want to have big hooks. Some people even use wire traces if you're going for big conga because they do have sharp teeth and they do roll. So you don't want the line to snap like what just happened. Now there's nothing we could have done. I didn't have spare line on us to spool up his reel with some, some thicker line. So it is what it is. But conga, they like to live in really, really rough ground. They like to live in wrecks under structure. That's where you'll find them. Now, he wasn't in very deep water. He was only in 35 feet. So it just shows you don't have to go out miles and miles and miles and fish these really deep wrecks to find these big conga because you will find them closer in because we keep getting smashed. Did you see that? Look. Oh, what you reckon? Oh, fucking big one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be holding this one, Ben. Oh, oh Jesus. So we're having conga after conga. Again, look at the size of that bait. It's like what, four foot, 30 pound and easier to a running ledger, four ounce on a little vertical jigging rod. Right, let's chuck that down, Joe. Got it? Yep. Just through the nose. There we go. 
Okay. What we're using is a Daiwa Slosh multiplier, 50 pound braid. I've set the ratchet on so I can hear it, the drag. And then they've got an ugly stick, GX2. This is the 20, 12 to 20 version. There we go. Right on the bottom over a nice reef. Make sure you're anchored up. It's actually well flat, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Not very deep. What is it, a conga, you reckon? Yeah, it could be a bass, but Ben said the fight's pretty similar, so I'm going to assume it's a con conga. Yeah, I reckon it's a nice little conga. Over. Uh, what way? This way. Way. Over. Watch that hook doesn't ping near us. Got him. <sighs> yes, Jai. <laughs> we got him. Put that net. Yeah. Nice. You're starting to like the counting into your strikes, isn't you? Yeah. Whoa! One. Oh. This is another big one, boys. We're gonna have to Oh my one god. Oh, shit, what are we gonna do with that one? We're gonna take him out. <laughs> you just want me to chuck him? No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. So I just want to say, if anyone is interested in any of these inflatable boats or interested in any of the gear that I'm using, a lot of the stuff is in the description below. So if you click the link, it will take you straight to it. But also, if you have any questions about where I fish, how I find my marks, what boat to get, what engine to get, you're not sure whether you want an alley deck or an inflatable deck, just drop a comment below. I'm always happy to answer all the comments, or you can follow me on Instagram at Southeast Fishing. I'm more than happy to help. And you're last. Oh my god. Mate, that's big, isn't it? Charlie's, your, yours went as well. Yeah, proper. Yours? Tomorrow. Oh my god. Look, it's taking line. Oh, your line's across. Yeah. Charlie, here, pass it. I'll take it under. He's diving. Joy, look at this rod bend. <laughs> Oh, there's Charlie's. What are we going to do? We're just going to double net them. Let's get, get my one in first. Yeah. And then Charlie's. Oh my fucking god, look at that. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, 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 that's it. That's it. Get closer, no, 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 Ben. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. That is a How's massive snake. Mate, this one's bigger. Oh my god. Do you want to try and get a, get a video of him? Oh, mate, that is huge. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to get this one out, Jai. Yeah. And like get the net ready. Can you get him out? Well, just tip him out on the boat. Yeah. Oh my Benny is scary. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh my god, get him away from me, bro! <laughs> Mate, I can't lift that's him. it, that's it, take that net out. I can't lift him! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this big boy! You're gonna bite me! <laughs> right. Ready? No, 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 it's a bass! Oh, it's a bass! Right, hang on, get slowly, him. slowly, slowly. Bit Bring him over. He's big. He's big. Bring him over this way. Yeah, this way. Yes! That's a big one, oh mate! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh yeah, he's a good five pound that one. <laughs> oh, my God. oh shit, shit, no, not keep him. the bass, keep the bass there, keep the bass there. I don't know how I'm gonna grab him. You've got, you've got to get a photo of him. Oh, that's it. Yes, Ben. <laughs> nice. Look at it. Get a good video, Jai. He's slipping, he's slipping. That's it. Hold it up, put it back, put it back, put it back. Look at that. So what you do? Either mouth or gills, mate. You put your thumb in its mouth. Yeah. And you hold it. Watch the spikes. Look, put the GoPro on me and just show. Them. Look at that. Yeah. That is a good five pound bass. That or more. Look at his gullet. So Charlie caught this. Charlie's gonna hold it. Right. I'll, let, I'll put him down. Yeah. If you put your thumb in his mouth and then just what you do. Watch he hasn't them got spines. Teeth, hold it really tight in his yeah. mouth and put a hand under here. That's it, don't drop Whatever him. Whatever you do, do not throw it. <laughs> don't drop him, that's it. That's it, hold it up. There we go, look at that. What a fish. What a fish. 
So that was on a running ledger, on a lure rod, with a mackerel flapper. Ten pound line. Ten pound line. Look at it. That is actually a beautiful fish. Look at his spine. He had Whoa. it out. That's mental. We haven't got any scales, so we can't measure it, but that's a first bass for Charlie, and that is a nice one, proper nice. Well done, Charlie. Oh my God, look at that bass. He is so nice. Proper chunky as well. So we just got some more baits down after about half hour of panicking. That was the biggest congar that's been landed on this boat, and that was like a five, six pound bass as well on a mackerel flapper. Jai's putting down some mad bait now, look at that. See if we can pick up something else. But yeah, we mainly come out for lure fishing, so we've all got lure rods and a couple, and I've only got one boat rod. So we're making due of it, but what a session, look at it. It's all right, don't worry. Charlie's in again. This is it. Does it feel like it's shaking its head a little bit? Oh no, no. Shit, that's not good. Oh, no, not really now. Go on, I reckon it might be another conga. conga. Yeah, <laughs> oh. yeah, conga. No, you just hit that one, I think. Yeah, you hit that one. Mm -hmm. All right. Bring him over. There we go. Another one. He's roughing your. Jai's into another one. We have no idea what this is. I like conga. Conga. Another. Right now, let's can you bring him over, Jai. Try and not let him twist because we need the hook. Yeah. Right, look at that. Yeah, that's it. Hold the rod. Right, that's it. Grab him by the line. Can you put the... Just grab him in the boat, just pull him up. Straight in. We're just having conga after conga. I can't actually believe it. Jai's making a new bait. Have a rod out. So we're into something else. This feels more like a bass. Jai, can you get that net? Yeah, we've got it, mate. This feels definitely more like a bass. Yeah. That's conga. Fuck's sake. Decent, though. Right? <laughs> it's not as ancient as your other one. Grab it. Oh, no, it's all right, baby. There you go. There we go. Another not one. Heavy. Oh, my God. Another. Nothing number 15, isn't it? I'd say that one was maybe 10, maybe 10. See, I it was much bigger, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. Oh, I reckon still at least 12. Yeah, no, he's bigger, actually. Right, so look, another one. That, that one's just lip hooked. And then we've got Jai's one in the boat, ready to be unhooked. Mental. Yeah. Look at that screen. Oh my God. Right, get him out, Jai. Let's get another bait down. The one that lets me hold him. <laughs> oh, nice. That's it, straight up through his chin, through his nose. There you go. Perfect. Looks heavy, but it's such a small. Little blue rod in it. Oh, hang on, what's that? You got a rock. <laughs> what? The fuck? What? Rock, we got a new weight. <laughs> <laughs> How did that even happen? Are you having a laugh? Look. <laughs> what, a, what, what a joke, mate. That's a PB, that. <laughs> <laughs> right, see you later, mate. Catch and release. That's what he's called a shot. Jai, there's so much stuff. 
Y ven. So if you've come this far, then well done. Thanks for watching the whole video. I hope you enjoyed it. And like I say, if you did enjoy it, click the like button, subscribe and the notification bell. This will notify you every time I make a new video and I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you haven't seen my Navionics video about how to find the best fishing marks, you can find it out right here. So click that link 